Ask me why I have this bell. No. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. I'm tired of crapping my pants and sitting in it all day. <gasps> so you're gonna start using the bathroom? Well, hold on, Daddy. I got an even better idea. So every time I ring this bell, that's gonna let you guys know that I took a huge crap in my pants and I need one of you to change me. Jeffy, you're 18 years old. Hush. I'm talking. Every time I ring this bell, it's going to signal to you guys that a huge heaping pile of Jeffy dung has exited my turd tunnel into my shorts. So let me paint the picture for you, Daddy. I'm not wearing any underwear. I'm only wearing denim shorts and a diaper. So when I ring this bell, that means a big pile of Jeffy fecal has pushed through my denim shorts into my diaper, and one of you needs to change me. We're not going to change you, Jeffy. You're an adult. Ah! Oh, you know what that means? They're shit! Change me. I will now pat and smear. Mommy, is this what a pat smear is? Oh, fuck ya! Yeah. Jeffy, cut it out! Jeffy! No, we're not changing you. You're an adult. You're gonna sit in it all day until you learn to change yourself. Look, we're just gonna watch TV. Boss, boss, boss. Oh, hey there. Do you like Honey Nut Cheerios? Well, in one lucky box of Honey Nut Cheerios, you could possibly find a pair of Honey Nut Cheerio shoes. So go out there and buy all the Honey Nut Cheerios. Buzz, 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 buzz. Daddy! <laughs> you see those shoes? I need those shoes! I need you to take me to the store right now so we can buy all your boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios. Okay, Jeffy, listen. Whenever we go to the store, I'll buy you one box of Honey Nut Cheerios and see if you win. One box? Only one box? I need all the boxes right now to make sure I get those shoes! Jeffy, listen, we don't have the money to buy all those boxes of cereal. Well, what about the credit card? I'm not gonna run up my credit card buying a bunch of boxes of cereals on the chance you might win some shoes. Ah! You're ruining my life! Marvin, why don't you take him to the store and get him a box? Because, baby, he doesn't want one box. He wants all the boxes. And also, this sounds like a scam just to get you people to buy more cereal. I bet you those shoes don't even exist. Oh, Daddy has left his wallet by the front door. Father has royally effed up. Wow, you must really like Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm looking for shoes. Okay, well, th this isn't the shoe aisle. Um, I, I, I hope you're planning on buying all these. I am. Okay. okay. Um. All right, I spent $2,000 on Cheerios. Those shoes have to be in here. No! Jeffy, have you seen my wallet? Jeffy! Where are you at, Jeffy? 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 Booga, 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 booga! Jeffy, what are you doing? They're not here, Daddy! The shoes are not here! What shoes? The Honey Nut Cheerio shoes! What? Jeffy, where did you get all these Cheerios from? I took your credit card and I went to the store and I bought all the boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios that they have. You are so What is this? $2,000. And you're telling me the shoes aren't in here? No, I was, I was upset too, Daddy. You'd think for that amount of money that the shoes would be in here, and they're not. I can't believe you did this, Jeffy. I cannot believe you. I mean, this is the lowest thing you've ever done. Let's go talk to your mother. Your mother has to hear this. Come on. Yes, sir. Baby! What's wrong, Marvin? Oh, Jeffy, you tell her, because I can't even think of the words. Mommy, I am a shithead. <gasps> Jeffy, don't say that. Marvin! No, it's true. Jeffy, tell her. Just tell her. Oh, yeah, Mommy. I'm sure you'll agree. What I did was, is I took Daddy's credit card and spent $2,000 on Honey Nut Cheerios. Jeffy! But did you get the shoes? No, don't beat me to the funny part. No, I didn't. But what I did do was is I dumped all the Honey Nut Cheerios on the table and then I hid in the big pile of them. And then when Daddy walked by, I tried to scare him by going ooga booga. Aw, you were playing peekaboo? 
Yeah, except for when I went boo at daddy, he didn't peek us so good. Oh, listen, that's not the point of the thing. Listen, baby, he spent $2,000 on my credit card on cereal to get shoes that he didn't even get. And also, not to mention the big pile of Cheerios on the table downstairs. I'm talking the biggest mess you'll ever see. I'm sure there's not that many Cheerios, Marvin. Oh, there's so many. Just think of the biggest pile of Cheerios you could ever think and double it twice in your head. That's how big it is. Yeah, it's pretty big, mommy. I'm actually pretty proud of it. You wanna see it? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> see, baby? Hey, look! Oh my god! Get to eating, mommy. My cholesterol is about to be lower than my syndrome. <laughs> what? Stephanie, you're not even eating them! You're just throwing them all over the place! Well, it's not my fault my hand-mouth coordination is off! Listen, stop it! We're going back upstairs! Come on, no more eating cereal! Oh man, Jeffy, I just can't believe you! Danny, I don't think you understand the real problem here. I still don't have your shoes. Do you want me to go to another store and see if I can get some more Cheerios? No, Jeffy, you're not buying any more Cheerios. I canceled my credit card, so you can't buy any more, okay? Well, how am I supposed to get the shoes? Jeffy, the shoes do not exist. They don't exist? Well, what about the commercial? The commercial's lying. It's a scam, Jeffy. It's a, it's a scam from the cereal company to get people to go out and buy cereal to hopefully get shoes that don't exist. So just go to bed and think about all the stupid things you did today. Ah, uh, my life sucks. I guess I'll go to bed without the shoes. Here I go, off to bed, not happy because I don't have the shoes. <sighs> Look at me at school, sad because I hate my life. <laughs> yes, that's good. Seeing other people sad makes me happy. Oh. oh my god, PJ, your new shoes are so cool! Yeah, I know. They're so hot! Where did you get them? I was just eating Honey Nut Cheerios and they were just right there in the cereal box. You're so lucky, PJ. Yeah, not everyone can have Honey Nut Cheerio shoes. Huh? He has the shoes? He has the shoes? You got the new Cheerio shoes? Where did you get them from? Back off. Give PJ some space. Yeah. Now, ladies, ladies, let the man admire the shoes. Go ahead, look. Where did you get the Cheerio shoes from? I found them in a cereal box. Well, no dick. I bought so many boxes of Cheerios and it didn't have the shoes in. How many boxes did you open to get the shoes? I got these on the first try. That's ridiculous. I want those shoes. What can I do to get the shoes? PJ's not going to give you his shoes. Yeah! Okay, ladies, stop trying to speak for PJ because it's starting to piss him off. And then the P in PJ is going to stand for Pissed Off Jammies Crenshaw, and you do not want to see Pissed Off Jammies Crenshaw. Okay, sorry, PJ. Sorry. Okay, so you want my shoes, right? Yes! What can I do to get the shoes? Well, you can't buy shoes like these, so you're going to have to trade me for them. Okay, what do you want? Well, you smell like shit. Well, that's because I crapped my pants the other day, and my daddy didn't change me for 18 hours. Okay, well, I like your helmet. Okay. PJ, don't change your shoes for his helmet! Okay, you're done. <laughs> yeah, get out of here! You're done, too. <laughs> Just can't find good women. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, I want your helmet. Okay, you can have it! Yeah, it'll look great with my PJs, and it'll protect my head when I'm using my tech decks, because I don't want to hurt myself. Okay, deal! 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 Deal or no deal? Deal. Bam! Daddy peed these hoes! Jeffy, you got the shoes! Sure did, Mommy, and I'm feeling like a pimp. Jeffy, how much did those shoes cost you? Actually, Daddy, it didn't cost me anything. All I did was trade my helmet. Peep the no helmet and the wicked do. Jeffy, you need your helmet. Helmet schmelmet. You know who needs a helmet? Mike Snicker Pippets. Who's Mike Snicker Pippets? I don't know, but he might need a helmet. Did you give your helmet to Mike Snicker Pippets? I don't know. Ask Mike Snicker Pippets. I don't know Mike Snicker Pippets. Well, he might need a helmet. I don't have time for these games, Jeffy. I'm still $2,000 in credit card debt because you bought a bunch of cereal and opened it and poured it on the table downstairs. Well, Daddy, you can always return the cereal. I cannot return open cereal, Jeffy. Sure you can, Daddy. If you don't like it, you can return it. Marvin, they might give you in-store credit. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll call the store. Where'd you buy that? Target. Okay, I'll, I'll call Target and see if they'll give me store credit or, or something. Jeffy, they're so cute. Look, the little Cheerios, and it has a little beard. Hold on, Mommy. Back off. Don't touch them. I don't want your germs on them. Okay, I just called Target, and they said they're going to send an employee here to see if they can return all those items we bought. Oh, that must be them. Hello? Hey, it's Brooklyn Guy from Target. Not Alex from Target. He was on Ellen. I don't know what the fuck that was about. It's not really fair to everybody else who works at Target that he gets to be on TV just because he's hot. I wonder what he's doing these days. Hopefully not still working at Target. Although, working at Target kind of worked out for him because he got to be on TV, so who knows. 
Anyway, you called me because you wanted to return something? I mean, we don't usually show up to your house like this, but to be honest, I was kind of curious. Well, my son bought a bunch of boxes of cereal and I wanted to- Oh, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he just cleaned out all the Honey Nut Cheerios. Then like a bunch of 80-year-olds came in after, they were like, we're all the Honey Nut Cheerios! And I had to explain that a kid bought them and they were all pretty angry. Well, I would like to return the cereal. Oh, yeah, that's no problem, as long as it's not open. Is it open? Uh, maybe a few boxes. Well, you can return the ones that aren't open. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, here they are. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where are the ones that haven't been opened? Um, I think they've all been opened. Mm hmm Yeah, no. No, you can't return these. Well, why not? What do you mean, why not? I can't just put these back in the box and then feed them to people. Well, look, the ones on the top haven't touched the table. Look, the, these down here are bad, but these are all good. We can put these back in the box. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No, it doesn't work like that. Well, can you at least give me store credit? Come on. Well, see, the problem with that is that I don't know how I'm going to explain to my boss why I'm giving you $2,000 in store credit just because you bought a bunch of Cheerios, dumped them on a table, and then didn't eat them. Listen, my son was just looking for those, like, Cheerio shoes. <gasps> Did he find them? No. Oh. That's a shame. Man, those things are going for $10,000. Did you say $10,000 for those shoes? Yeah, 10,000 smackaroonies. Well, um, who, who would pay that for those? I mean, I would. I really want those. I mean, I know I don't have feet, but I still think it'd be pretty cool. Okay, uh, well, my son actually did find them. Okay, you literally just told me you didn't have them. Because I didn't know how you'd react if I told you he had them. What? It's not a Powerball ticket, they're shoes. I just happen to want them. Oh, okay, listen, listen. So my son has them, so you'll give me $10,000 if I show you the shoes. Show me the shoes to prove that you have them, because this, this whole thing is very weird. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here's the Cheerio shoe. Those are not the Cheerio shoes. Jeffy, what happened to your Cheerio shoes? I traded them back to Mike Snicker Pippets for my helmet because I missed it. I'm sorry, Mike who? Snicker Pippets. Jeffy, be serious. This nice man right here was going to give us $10,000 for those Cheerio shoes. Well, he can go buy them from my Mike Snicker Pippets. Okay, I'm sorry, who is Mike Snicker Pippets? He's a guy in my class and he wears pajamas and sunglasses inside. Okay, that sounds like a lie. Well, it's not, he's real and he's inside. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Mike Snicker Pippets. Mike Snicker Pippets, who? Mike Snicker Pippets, let me in. It's cold out here. Jeez. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Oh, no, no, no. What about the cereal? Y you, you keep it. Oh, no, the $10,000! Jimmy! Why'd you do this to me, Jimmy? Well, Daddy, let me tell you something. What's doo doo kangaroo? It's where the kangaroo takes a dump and you collect it. There's no way that's a board game, Jeffy. Yeah, it's really fun. No, we're not playing that. We're gonna watch a movie. Hey, Marvin. I think the batteries in the remote aren't working. Well, darn. Now we get to play doom doom kangaroo. No, Jeffy. We're gonna go to Target and buy some more batteries. Yeah, it's probably a good idea because doo doo kangaroo requires batteries too. Three double A's. Come on, Jeffy. We're going to Target. Oh, Danny, 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 can I get Steve from Minecraft? No, Jeffy. Can I get the bees from Minecraft? No, Jeffy. Can I get Steve dressed like a bee from Minecraft? No, Jeffy, we only came to get batteries. Well, what about the sword? No, come on, let's go. Aww. All right, Jeffy, get in the car. All right. Hold on there, loss prevention. What's the problem, officer? Your son stole something from Target. No, I didn't. What'd you steal, Jeffy? Nothing. Okay, then what's under your shirt? Nothing, I'm just fat. Let me see. Hey, he's trying to touch my wiener! Aha, uh -huh, Steve from Minecraft. Jeffy, you stole Steve from Minecraft. Well, you wouldn't buy it for me. I am so sorry, officer. If we go inside, I'll pay for it right now. Nope, he's going to jail. Going to jail? Yeah, he's an adult. You're under arrest for shoplifting. Fuck, Daddy, the streets are hard out here for a pimp. P.O.P., hold it down. Mama, I love you. Order, 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 order. Wait a minute. Who replaced my gavel with a tiny one? Where is my gavel? <laughs> gotcha. Here you go, sir. I thought it was funny. Hmm. Yes, I guess. Don't do it again. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Pooh and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy, who is being charged with stealing a... Steve from Minecraft toy from Target. Uh, Bailiff, may I see this stolen Minecraft toy? Yeah, I'll grab it from the evidence room, sir. Here you go. Ooh, Steve from Minecraft. Oh, this is so cool. Ooh. Uh, I, I'm going to need to open this to see how fun it is to play with, to see how serious the charge should be. So, Jeffy, you can go ahead and explain what happened. I wanted a Steve from Minecraft toy from Target, but my daddy wouldn't buy it for me, so I stole it. 
I'm sorry, Judge. Please don't send me to jail. Ah, take that, Ender Dragon. This toy is very fun and worth every penny. So I'm not going to go easy on you. I think it's time you got a taste of your own medicine. I sentence you. Ah, fuck that bitch! Ah. Holy shit, Judge! Check and get off him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Screw you! Order, order, order. I am the very much still in pain, Judge Pooper. And today we will be hearing the case of the fucking asshole Jeffy who brutally attacked me and gave me a bloody nose and a black eye. Jeffy, fuck you. I was only going to give you six months of probation, but ho ho ho, you ruined that. Sorry for letting him attack you, Judge. I just didn't expect him to do that. But don't worry, he's handcuffed and tied up now, so that shouldn't be happening again. I gotta check my emails. Oh, I'm sorry, Judge. I just get angry sometimes. Please don't send me to jail. Oh, no. You're not going to jail. You're going to prison. I sentence you to ten. No, fuck that bitch! You're not getting out of us! That's all that noise. Oh, shit, not again! Order, order, order. Jeffy beat the shit out of me again? What the fuck were you guys doing? Why can't you stop him? I am so sorry, Judge. That will never happen again. We have another officer here now, and he's wearing chains and a mask. Yeah, he better have a mask on. He bit my forehead. He gave me a broken arm, a broken neck, and a broken nose. Jeffy, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Judge. You just keep making me really angry. Please don't send me to jail. Oh, you're going to be buried under the jail. You are a menace to society if you do this to people. I sentence you to death. Oh, fuck that. I'm not again. Oh. Simmons, why did you grab him? Sorry, mate. He was just so quick. Come on, let's get him. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Anthony. Judge Poobell has been murdered by Jeffy. So, Jeffy, I'm going to sentence you to the most cruel and unusual punishment. Death by a million fire ant bites. How is that even possible? Get the phone, get the phone. I got the batteries. Oh, Marvin, you didn't have to get those. I found some batteries in the kitchen. <sighs> wow. Where's Jeffy? He got arrested for shoplifting. Shoplifting? Why? He stole a $10 Minecraft toy that I wouldn't buy him. Marvin, why wouldn't you buy it for him? You know he can't help himself. Don't you blame me for this. Jeffy should know not to steal. Well, how long is he going to be in jail for? He's not going to get any jail time. They're probably just going to give him probation. <gasps> Marvin, look the news! Breaking news, McKay. A 19-year-old man named Jeffy has killed two judges in the courtroom. He is to be executed later tonight. Jeffy killed two judges? There's no way. This has to be some kind of prank. Hey there. Hey, officer. We just saw in the news that Jeffy killed two judges. Oh, yeah, he did. He even killed one of them through the phone. It was pretty impressive. What? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, I saw him do it. But don't worry. He's not going to be killing anyone ever again, especially not because he's going to be executed tonight by a million fire ants. A million fire ants? Oh, yeah, they're being flown in specially from Madagascar. You know that place where the lion and the zebra played by Ben Stiller and Chris Rock like to move it, move it with the lemurs? That place. Oh, where is Jeffy at right now? Oh, he's locked away in the most ultimate super max, ultra max, Michelob ultra, big mac, knick knack, patty wag, give a dog a maximum security prison jail. Okay, no, seriously, take me to Jeffy right now. I need to talk to him. I don't think you understand. Let me explain in great detail exactly how hard it would be for you to get there and exactly where he is with this pretty little animation. So, Jeffy is handcuffed, put in a straight jacket, tied up with ropes and chains with a blindfold on, and his mouth is duct taped. And then he's put in a coffin, which is also chained up in a biometric heat sensitive chamber where the oxygen level are dropped so low that it keeps him alive, but his muscles are not oxygenated enough to move. Then, that chamber is dropped into a safe with plasma lasers, pressure plates, and landmines, so if he got out, the lasers would cut him into pieces like a lightsaber, and the mines would blow him up. Then, that safe is put on top of a castle in the highest room of the tallest tower like in Shrek, and the castle is guarded by a dragon that f 
Hoth's donkeys. That castle is then dropped into the bottom of the Marianas Trench, which is the deepest place known to man, and the castle is then surrounded by great white megalodon sharks with laser beams and heat-seeking rocket launchers on their heads. Then above the sharks is a giant squid that's been trained specifically to eat Jeffy. So even if he got past all the rest of that, he'd have to get past the squid. And then above the squid is James Cameron in a submarine with an IMAX camera filming the whole thing. So if Jeffy escapes, James Cameron can let us know and make a sick-ass movie out of it. And then above him is a military submarine with a nuclear torpedo pointed at him. So if Jeffy gets past James Cameron, they'll blow him up. And then above that is three aircraft carriers carrying F-22 Raptors, which are the coolest fucking jets ever, in my opinion. Are you serious? Oh, I am very serious. It can go up to 1,500 miles per hour. That means it could fly from L.A. to New York in just under two hours. I mean, yeah, it would have to refuel somewhere over Colorado, but don't worry, because it can refuel in midair. And it can pull up to nine Gs. That's more Gs than lasagna and bologna combined. Both of those words have Gs in them. Why? What are we talking about? I'm talking about the F-22 Raptor, the coolest jet ever made. I want to talk about Jeffy. Fine. Yeah, we can talk about Jeffy, sure. I mean, the F-22 Raptor is way cooler than Jeffy. I mean, it's not like it's the most expensive jet ever made. I mean, it's not like it only costs $150 million per plane with an operating cost of $68,000 per hour, but I'm sure you already knew that. Is Jeffy really in that maximum security prison? Oh, yeah, he's never getting out. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure how we're going to get all those fire ants in there. We might have to funnel them in with a straw or something. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a call. Oh, it's James Cameron. Hey, Cam with the cam, what's up? What? He what? No, come on, what about the sharks with the lasers and the rocket launchers and the giant squid? Really? Well, what about the submarine and the torpedo? Yeah, okay, but what about the donkey fucking dragon? It drowned? Oh yeah, I guess that does make sense. Yeah, okay. But, but what about the F-22 Raptors though? No, really? Well, tell me at least you got it all on camera. No, James, you didn't, come on. Ugh. Jeffy escaped. Wait, he escaped? How? I don't know. James Cameron said he recorded the whole thing and it was the coolest, most James Bond, Tom Cruise shit he's ever seen, but his memory card got corrupted because he didn't eject it properly and he lost the whole thing. Oh, so where's Jeffy at now? I don't know, but I'm not going to catch him. Not with my no legs. If only I had an F-22 Raptor with all the options in the fishing package. Damn! Help me! You have no idea what I had to do to escape that place! Please tell me. I have to know how you got out of there. Shrek and Donkey saved me! Oh, I didn't think about Shrek and Donkey. Yeah, Shrek said, Yeah, you're coming with me. And Donkey said, All right, parfaits! You ever had a parfait before? You ever meet somebody, you say, Let's go get some parfaits? They say, Hell no, I want no parfaits! And then Donkey went and fucked the dragon! And then Shrek grabbed me, and then sharded so hard it propelled me through all my entrapments all the way up to the surface, and I got back here. Well, you're back under arrest. Fuck. What? Jeffy, did you really kill a judge? You were only going to get probation. Well, sometimes my brain don't work right. And that's why you're going to be executed by a million fire ants. Wait, are you sure he really killed the judge? Yeah, I saw it with my own eyes. Well, because I see Judge Pooby right there. No, don't look at me. I'm not here. Wait, Judge Pooby? I thought you died. No, me and Judge Anthony paid Jeffy to beat us up and pretend to kill us so we could go to Disney World. Wait, so Judge Anthony's still alive too? Yes, and I'm right here. Wow, so I guess the only thing you're guilty of is shoplifting. And I'm really sorry. Well, that's good enough for me. You guys want to talk about F-22 Raptors? Did you know that the F-22 Raptor... Chocolate milk. I'll make you some later, Jeffy. Not right now. But I can pour it all by myself. No, you can't. You're going to spill it and make a big mess. But Marvin, I've been teaching him to pour his own chocolate milk. He can do it without spilling any. No, he can't. He's going to make a huge mess. Danny, I promise I won't spill a single ounce of chocolate milk anywhere but in your cup. I, I just don't believe you. Marvin, trust him. Yeah, Danny. Trust me. I just don't. Marvin, just let him try. <sighs> okay, fine, Jeffy. You can pour your own chocolate milk. But I swear, if you spill any of it on the floor, you're grounded. Alright, Daddy, I'm gonna spill some milk. I'm gonna spill some no, no, milk. No, no, Jeffy, get back here. No, he's singing, I'm gonna spill some milk. No, Daddy, I said, I'm gonna pour some milk. It's that old age, Daddy. What? No, no, you said spill. No, I didn't. I said pour. You need to get your ears checked. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna spill some milk. He said pour, Marvin. Alright, I'm gonna pour me some chocolate milk just like Mommy taught me. 
there. I didn't even spill it. Now how am I going to get it upstairs? Hmm. Oh, I know. What was that crashing noise? Maybe it came from the neighbor's house. No, it came from our kitchen. It's Jeffy. Yeah, home run. I made it in the sink. Well, I was aiming for upstairs, so, oh well. <gasps> I told you he was going to spill it. But, but we practiced. Jeffy, why'd you spill the chocolate milk? I didn't spill it. Then how'd it get all over the floor? Because I hit it with my bat. Why would you do that? Because I was trying to get it upstairs. Why didn't you just walk it upstairs? Because my legs don't work. Jeffy, you made this mess on purpose. Daddy, if I wanted to make a mess on purpose, this is what I would do. Wait, don't, don't you dare. Whoops. Jeffy! That is it! That is it! I'm calling a doctor to find out what's wrong with his head! I just spilled some milk. I just spilled some milk. And I just called the doctor to fix what's wrong with your brain. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Oh yes, doctor, there's something wrong with my son. I need you to fix him. Yeah, there's a crack in my butt, so I think I need a new one. <laughs> but no, he does the opposite of everything I tell him to do. Oh yeah, like the things from Cat in the Hat. Aw, I love that book! I, I, I was talking about the movie. I, I've never read the book too long. Look, 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 I just want you to help me fix my son, because I told him to pour a glass of chocolate milk without spilling it, and guess what he did? He spilled the chocolate milk? No, he hit it with a baseball bat and spilled it everywhere. Well, wow, yeah, yeah, okay, I can see you were dealing with some serious bad boyness. So, so how do I fix him? Hmm, well, what do you do when you're mad at him? I yell at him really loud. Yeah, and it's really starting to scar me emotionally. Hmm, well, maybe he's just doing this stuff to get attention. Wait, what? Yeah, you know, some kids get in trouble on purpose because they think it's funny when their parents yell at him. So, so maybe if you just ignore him, he'll stop being bad. No, if I ignored him, he'd keep doing the bad stuff. Well, no, because eventually he'd get bored because no one's paying attention to him. Huh. I mean, it's hard to ignore him because he makes a lot of loud noises. Okay, well, I'll just prescribe you these uh, these earplugs so you don't have to listen to him. I use them whenever I'm around my wife because she's like, nag, 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 and... I'm just sitting there with my earplugs in so I don't have to listen to her, you know, just alone with my thoughts. Thinking about all the mistakes I've made, like marrying her. Hmm, that sounds like a good idea. But I wasn't talking to you, book reader. I was talking to him. Well, I think it's a good idea. All right, well, let's do it. I guarantee this will make your kids stop being bad. Okay, baby, let's put some earplugs in and ignore Jeffy. Okay. All right, baby, I have the earplugs in my ears. What? I have the earplugs in my ears. I can't hear you. I have earplugs in my ears. What are you saying? What? Huh? I think I'm just going to ignore Jeffy. I can't hear what you're saying, but I'm just going to ignore Jeffy. Daddy! Daddy, what are those things in your ears? Daddy! Daddy, what are those things in your ears? Daddy, if you don't answer me, I'm going to call the cops. All right, I'm going to call the cops. Daddy, are you ignoring me? All right, challenge accepted. You guys might not be able to hear me, but you'll definitely be able to feel me. Oh, looks like I'm all out. You guys are really going to stick with this ignore me thing, huh? Alright, because I got more silly stuff. I'll be right back. Alright, baby, just keep ignoring them. What? All right, Daddy. You still going to keep ignoring me? If you keep ignoring me, I'm going to beat the hell out of you. All right. You asked for it. <laughs> wow. You're a trooper, Daddy. You're still going to keep ignoring me after all that? I'm going to have to go get the big guns now. Marvin, are you okay? No. What? <sighs> How much longer are we going to ignore him for? What? Alright, Daddy. I got the big guns. You still going to play this game? Alright, Mommy. You want some too? Wow. They keep wanting to play this ignoring me game. Maybe one day they'll learn. Oh, my head hurts. What? I said my head hurts. What? Well, take those earplugs out of your ears. I said my head hurts. How much longer should we ignore him for? I don't know, Marvin, but I think he's starting to get bored now. I hope so. All right, Daddy. Prepare to get sniped. All right. 
Let me aim right at your eye and boom! Oh my god, Marvin! Oh wow, what a shot, right mommy? What why are you guys still ignoring me? Stop it! Huh? Alright, fine! I give up! You guys win! He gives up! He gives up! That doctor was right, Marvin! Oh my god, thank god! Yeah, that doctor was right! All we had to do was ignore him and he'd stop! <sighs> Wee! wee! I'm having so much fun! Wee! W-E-Wee. W-E-Wee, -E -wee. W -E -wee, yeah. I, I don't want anybody to get confused what we're talking about. Yeah, hey Junior, it's kind of hot in here. Can you turn on the fan? Why don't you do it? Me? Uh, M-E, me. Yeah, yeah, you. Go, go, go flip the light switch. No, 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 no. Uh, light flick machine. Light flick machine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, God, they own so many words. I know. <gasps> What's wrong, Jeffy? My mommy and daddy are ignoring me. Well, isn't that a good thing? Doesn't that mean you can do whatever you want? Yeah, if they're ignoring you, they're basically saying they don't care what you do. You can do whatever you want. Hmm, I didn't think of it like that. Oh, but since you guys mentioned it, now I want to do the most illegal thing that we can think of. You guys got any ideas? Uh, you could do tax evasion. You can go to federal prison for tax evasion. Yeah, but they have tennis courts and ice cream. Why doesn't everyone just do tax evasion? I think Jeffy should do something even more illegal. What's the most illegal thing in the entire world? Hmm. Ooh, you could cook math. What? Yeah, that show Breaking Bad, they cooked math. But they didn't cook math, Junior. Yeah, they cooked math. Didn't you listen to the show? So, Jeff, you could just cook math, like cook subtraction and addition. Ooh, and then you could sell it. See, 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 selling math is illegal. That's why school's free. But Junior, I think maybe you misheard what they said in the show. No, they were talking about math. So, Jeffy, the we and you should all go... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Mm. Uh, no, I put an and between it. I don't know about that. Oh, it's not like I said GameCube. Well, did, 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 uh, you are walking on hot water there, mister. Game... Q-tip? Q-tip, yes. Get very fun Q-tip. Yeah, 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 that, that, that. Anyway, let's just go cook math. Come, come on, go do it with us. Uh, okay. All right, do it. All right, we have all different kinds of math here, so let's get to cooking. Well, how do we start cooking math, Junior? I don't know. Cody, how do you cook math? They didn't cook math. What'd they cook then? Well, you know we can't say it. What? I mean, sorry, you know W-E can't say it. Look, all I remember from the show is the blue math was the most valuable, right? Yeah. Hey, look, look, look the, the blue math is on the addition cards. So cook the addition, that's worth more money. All right. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on, Cody, just, just, just teach Jeffy how to cook math. What? Uh, hello? Hey there. Ah, the cops, what are you doing here? We were in the neighborhood cracking down on math labs, and I'm wondering if there's math in your house. Well, no, no, there's no math in my house. Well, this rat here has been trained to smell out math, and he says there's math in there. I smell math. Well, stop ratting me out, rat. I can't help it. I'm a rat. Yep, that's about as much mileage as that joke, Scott. All right, I'm coming in to look for math. Well, no, no, I promise there's no math in here. Well, the rat said he smells math, so we're coming in. Uh, Jeffy, Cody, run. We have to get out of here. The cops are here. Cody already left. What? Oh, my God. Look at all this math. I have nothing to do with this. I'm running. You, you must be the kingpin of this math operation. Oh, I'm sorry. I started cooking math because my parents stopped caring about me. Yeah, that's how it starts. Parents stop paying attention to their kids, and next thing you know, they're slinging math on the streets. All right, come on. We're going to go talk to your parents. I'm shutting down this math operation. Aww. Hey there. What, the cops? Jeffy, what did you do? Care to explain this? What is that? That's math. What? <gasps> math? Jeffy, where did you get math? He was cooking it. Cooking math? Where did we go wrong? Oh my god, what are they teaching our kids in school? Math! It's all over the schools. It's in middle schools, high schools, colleges. I hear in some places they're doing math as early as kindergarten. Oh my god, they need to crack down all this math. Jeffy, why'd you start cooking math? Well, you guys were ignoring me, so I didn't know what else to do. Oh my god, officer, what could we have done differently? Should have paid more attention to your son. Well, you're the one who told us to ignore him. No, Dr. Me told you to ignore him. Police officer Me saying you should have paid more attention to your son. See, you're lucky, because he hasn't actually started doing math math yet. See how it isn't filled out? Yeah, see, if he had actually started filling that out and doing math, he'd be hooked for life. So, I'm just gonna let him off with a warning this time. But if he ever gets busted for math again, he'll be in a lot of trouble. Okay. We, we need to be better parents to our son. Alright, Jeffy, we're gonna start we're gonna start taking care of you and we're gonna start paying attention. So, what is something you wanna do right now? Um, I want some chocolate milk. Like earlier, I should have helped him pour it. So, I'm gonna help you pour chocolate milk like a good father. No, Danny, I think I got it. No, no, I'm gonna help you. No, I can pour my own chocolate milk. No, I'm definitely gonna help no, you pour it because no, you, you're gonna no, hit it with a baseball bat. No, you're not. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna pour the milk for milk. you. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna pour the milk for milk. you. Jeffy, me and Mommy are going out to eat, and we're going to leave you home alone, so don't make a mess, okay? All right, Daddy. Be safe, Jeffy. 
I ain't gone. All right. Since my mommy and daddy aren't here, I get to watch a TV show they told me not to watch. Oh yeah. You know what you're doing. Oh yeah, keep doing that. We forgot our keys. <gasps> Jeffy! We told you not to watch this TV show! Marvin! Well, Jeffy, we said do not watch pogo sticking videos because then you're gonna wanna start pogo sticking and pogo sticking is dangerous! Marvin, Jeffy needs to watch more educational TV shows. Yes, he does. Like Window of the Explorer. What is that? It's a very educational TV show that you need to watch and we're gonna watch it with him as a family. We're not going out to eat anymore. Hola! My name is Windoa. I'm an explorer. What's your name? Aw, this is fun. Jeffy, tell her your name. It's a TV, Mommy. She can't hear me. Jeffy, tell her your name. <sighs> Fine. My name is Hippo Butthole. That's a cool name. My parents don't supervise me. Do you want to go on an adventure with me? No. Jeffy, be nice. Great. But we can't go on an adventure without my friend Sandals the monkey. Can you help me find him? He's behind the tree. Where is he? I said he's behind the tree, but you can't hear me because it's a TV! Where? Say it louder, Jeffy. Maybe she didn't hear you. He's behind the tree! Where? The tree! Behind the tree! Where? I swear to God, if you say where one more time, I'm going to look my... Jeffy, 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 calm down. But he's behind the tree, Daddy! I know, he's behind the tree. Where? Oh my god, Daddy! Take me to the jungle because I'm gonna strangle her! Well, Jeffy, just calm down. Say it one more time. Maybe she'll hear you this time. But the monkey is right behind you! Where? I literally can't help you. It's right there. It's not my fault you can't see it. Daddy, she's blind. Legally blind. <laughs> oh, there he is! Thank you for helping me find him. Now we can go on our adventure. Thank God! Thank God, Daddy! We finally get to go on your stupid adventure! Okay, just calm down, Jeffy. Just watch the show. Wait! We can't go on an adventure without my binoculars. Can you help me find my binoculars? <sighs> this shit again? Jeffy language! Look, help her find her binoculars! They're around her neck like my hands are gonna be when I'm strangling her! Jeffy, tell her where they're at! Around your neck. Where are they? No way. No way is she this dumb. Where? 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 I'm not even going to help her. I'm just going to let the monkey do it this time. Where could they be? Ow! It's not polite to hit sandals. That monkey has more patience than me because I would have slapped her a long time ago. Oh, there they are. Now let's go on our adventure. Finally. Finally. Now we can go on this dumb adventure. It better be worth it. To start our adventure, we have to find out where we're going. Let's ask Google Maps. Google Maps, Google Maps, Google Maps, Google Maps, Google Maps. I know where we're going. First, we go through the rabies bat cave, and then we sneak through the sneaky snake pit, and finally, we get to the poison ivy river. <gasps> that sounds scary. I hope she dies. Jiffy, let's go. Windoa, 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 the explorer. Hey there. Oh no, it's Killer the Lion. Can you help me stop him from killing us? Say it with me. Killer, no killing. Killer, please kill her. Jeffy, killer, stop it. No killing. Oh, rats. You said it three times. Now I can't kill you. Yay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Oh, wait. You words can't stop me from killing you. Jesus Christ. Poor Windowa. Thank God. Jeffy. She was the most annoying person on TV. I really hope she's okay. Look the news. Breaking news. Okay. Famous television actress Windoa is thought to have been killed by a lion on national television. Her partner, Sandals the Monkey, has a shocking interview now. Let's go to that. <laughs> Truly devastating. There is a jungle wide search for Windoa, and if you find her alive, the police are offering a $20,000 reward. Man, I really hope they find her.
$20,000? Danny, I can go find her. No, Jeff, you're not going out in the woods. There's lions out there and it's dangerous. You're staying inside. <sighs> All right, Danny. Um, 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 oh man, this Five Guys burger is so good. Hey, Junior, did you see what happened to Windoa? Yeah, she got ate by that lion. It was so sick. Yeah, did you also see that they're offering a $20,000 reward if we find her? If we find her in the woods? Yeah, so I was coming to see if you wanted to help me find her. Oh, yeah, let's go in the woods and try to find her. All right, let's go, Junior. All right, let's go. All right, Junior, let's go out here and try to find Windoa so we get that reward. What, Jeffy, why do you have to talk like that? Oh, because I'm wearing a cowboy hat, and I thought that's how I had to talk. Well, is mine a cowboy hat? Um, sure. Where you be, 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 be. There you go, Jeffy. All right, so uh, let's try finding her. All right. Well, this is a big force, Jeffy. What are the odds of finding her? Oh, no, Junior. It's going to be really what? hard. Jeffy. What? Uh, isn't that her bandana? <gasps> Junior, there's her binoculars. Oh, look, her binoculars. That's so cool. Okay, that means we're close to finding her. Junior, what? There's her hand. What? Oh, my God. Her hand. What? Her leg! Oh my god, Jeffy. Okay, so obviously, she, she might still be okay. She, she'll, she'll still have, like, her other arm and her other leg, right? Junior? What? Look. Ah! Oh, okay, 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 okay. What do we do? I don't know, Junior. We need to call somebody. Well, well hold on. Do we still get the reward? No, because she's dead. Well, hold on, hold on. Maybe they'll give us money per part. So maybe they'll give us, like, $1,000 for her leg, $1,000 for her arm. 10,000 for her head. Yeah. yeah, so let's start collecting the pieces and see what they'll give us. All right, Junior. All right, Jeffy, here's all the pieces we found. Hey, Junior, watch this. I'm gonna give her a low five. Wouldn't that be a low four because you guys only have four fingers? Oh, um, yep, yep, I guess you're right. Let's go get our reward. But who do we call to get the reward? I think we call the news. All right, well, now I'm gonna call the news. Hey, guys, did you hear what happened to Window? Whoa, 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 whoa. Junior, why is Window's head and body parts on your couch? Because me and Jeffy became explorers and we went in the forest and found her. So you brought the body parts back here? Yep, so we can get a reward. Wait, you're not gonna get a reward, Junior. Wait, we're probably not gonna get the full 20,000, but I was thinking we can get 10,000 for her head, 1,000 for her leg, and 1,000 for her arm. That's $12,000. That's $6,000 for me and Jeffy. But no, you're not going to get anything because the reward was for if she was alive. No, they're going to give us something for these body parts or we'll go elsewhere to sell them. No, Junior. No, you're going to go to jail. But why would we go to jail? Because you brought the body parts here so it looks like you killed her. Everyone knows we didn't kill her. It was the lion. And I'm not lying. Balloon tits. Junior, this is really, really bad. What? No, it's not. What was I supposed to do when I found her? You're supposed to call the police. But then they would have taken the reward. But no, they would investigate the crime scene. There's nothing to investigate because we all saw what happened to her on TV, dummy. Junior. You're just mad because you're not going to get any of the money for finding any of her body parts. No, Junior. I don't want anything to do with any of this. Well, okay, then where do we sell the parts to if you say if the calling the cops is going to get us in trouble? I don't know the black market. I don't know people who buy body parts. I, I will buy those binoculars, though. Here, you want 20 bucks for him? 20 bucks? Is, is that a good deal? Yeah, sold. Okay, you can have them. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Now I can look inside people's windows while they undress. Wait, 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 wait. Do, do you want her bandana? Uh, no. No, I don't want it. Okay. Okay, I'll just take these binoculars and go. All right, we made 20 bucks out of those binoculars. That's $10 each, Junior. Heck yeah. All right, yeah. so let's go find a black market to sell these body parts, because if we call the cops, we'll get in trouble, apparently. All right, let's go. Uh, hey. Hey, welcome to the black market. We buy illegal things. What can I do for you today? We have something we think you might like. Fish? I I'm a dolphin. I eat fish. No, Jeffy, show him. Oh. Whoa, is that Windoa? Yep, that is the Windoa. She went missing today, so we went to the forest and we found her. Nice, so uh, you looking to sell or pawn? Sell. All right, well, the best I can do is a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? The news said she's worth $20,000. No, that's only if she's alive. This is pretty much worthless. Well, well, no, we found her head and her leg and her arm. Can you at least do like 12,000? No, nah, sorry, the best I can do is a hundred bucks. <laughs> Well, I didn't know this was useless. Yeah, but you know, if you'd have brought me her binoculars, I would have given you $50,000. $50,000 for the binoculars? We had the binoculars. You wish. No, no, we did, and we sold them for $20. Yeah, well, you got ripped off. Well, why are they worth so much? Well, because she's dead, and they're a collector's item. Apparently, she only ever used one pair of binoculars, so they're worth a lot. Whoa, 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 I promise we had them, so if we can get them back, will you, will you, will you buy them from us? Yeah, if you bring me those binoculars, I'll give you $50,000. Jeffy, we have to find Cody and get those binoculars back. Damn right we do! Okay, we'll be right back. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, do, you, what, what do you want to do with this? Uh, we want to sell that. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Hey guys, why'd you call me over? I was just outside playing with my binoculars. I was looking at everything. They're so cool, I'll never get rid of them. Well, I think they're dumb and they make your head look fat. But why'd you call me over? Well, me and Jeffy were talking it over. 
and we decided that we feel bad. We feel bad for ripping you off by selling you those binoculars. But you didn't rip me off. Yes, we did. $20 was way too much to charge you for those. So we feel bad. You bought them from us for $20, well, we want to buy them back for $100. Yeah, that's an $80 profit. But, but I don't want to sell these. Why not? Well, because I'm Windowa's biggest fan, and these are the binoculars she died with. I'm not going to get rid of these. You're not Windowa's biggest fan. Well, yes, I am. I know the theme song and everything. Well, well they mean more to me and Jeffy because we found them. Well, you don't even care about Windowa. Yes, we do. We care enough about her to go look for her. You didn't go look for her. Well, no, because I was too busy crying. Well, that's dumb. What if we offer you $120? What? No, Junior. No amount of money is going to make me give you those binoculars. Well, what if we trade you something cool? Well, what? Um, um, we, 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 we have so many cool things to trade. Right, Jeffy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have so many cool things. Um, uh, hold on. I'm going to grab all the cool stuff that we can trade for those binoculars. All right, Cody. This is what I have to trade. What, what is that, a mostly eaten cheeseburger? Not just any mostly eaten cheeseburger. A five guys mostly eaten cheeseburger. Junior, I want five guys, but not the restaurant. But the cheeseburgers are good. I know their cheeseburgers are good, but I don't want your half-eaten cheeseburger. Are you sure? Because I was going to finish this, but I saved it to trade for you. Well, you can go ahead and finish it, because I don't want it. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, get the other thing. Uh. All right, this thing you can't turn down. What, what is that? It's a to-go drink from Chili's. Why would I want a to-go drink from Chili's? Because it's a strawberry lemonade. Yeah, it slaps. Really? It's empty! Yeah, I drank it all. Why would you give me an empty to-go drink from Chili's? Because you can go back and probably get a refill or something. I don't want it. Ugh. All right, Jeffy, get the other thing. Oh. I really didn't want to get rid of this, but I'll do it for you. Whoa, what is that? It's a half-eaten Uncrustable. What, do you have any Uncrustables that are not eaten? No, I, I eat about half and I stop eating them. Why don't you just finish the Uncrustable? Because there's so much left, I get full! What, Junior, I don't want your half-eaten Uncrustable. You don't want any of this stuff? No, Junior, why are you just bringing me your leftover food? Because it's the food that was left in my room and Chef will ground me if he finds food in my room. Well, it, this is gross and I don't want it. I, 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 mean, <sighs> I mean, if you had like a full Uncrustable, we'd be talking. But no, I don't want this. Well, look, Cody, we really need those binoculars back! Well, no, Junior, I want to keep these binoculars! Breaking news, okay? Sandals the monkey has been arrested for allegedly hiring the lion to kill Windowa. If you have any evidence, please turn it into local police now. Oh no, I have to turn these binoculars into the police. No, no you don't. Well, yes, I do, Junior. It's evidence. We'll hand them over. Me and Jeff, you'll turn them in. No, I don't trust you. I'm doing it myself. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're not gonna get the money for the binoculars! Oh, Junior, this sucks! Thanks, kid, for turning in these binoculars. It's really gonna help the investigation a lot. Yeah, whatever I can do to help avenge Windoa. Alright, you have a good night. Did he give them to you? Yup, like taking candy from a baby. Sweet, now let's go get our $50,000. <laughs> yeah. All right, blowhole head, here's the binoculars. Where's our 50 grand? Wow, you actually got them. Here you go. Sweet, 25,000 each. For dinner, what the? Ew. Gross. Well, shouldn't it be? Why is our pancakes green? I put broccoli in your pancakes so it can be healthier. Just eat it, God. That's so gross. Yeah, I'm not eating this. Me either, dude. You're right, guys. We don't have to eat this. Yeah. This stuff is gross. Yeah. Let's go on strike. Yeah. Let's make out. No. Let's throw our plates at the wall. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. loud. Yeah. Let's go tie up Chef PB, steal his credit card, and order pizza! Yeah! Julia, what's all that buckets in there? Let go of me, let go of me, come on! Where's your credit card, Chef PB? What? Ow! Where is it? I'm not giving you my credit card thing. Ow! Stop hitting me! Ow! Now hold on, Junior, you're being a little too rough with him. So what are you gonna do, four eyes, huh? Ow! He spit in my mouth! Ew! Yeah, that's what daddy likes. Now where's your credit card, you dirty little pig boy? I'm not giving you my credit card! Alright, Cody, I think it's time for you to calm down. Yeah, I'm sorry. Where is, it? Where is it? I'm not giving it to you. Ow! Stop hitting me. Uh, Junior, I found his wallet. Oh, we found your wallet. Give me my wallet. Don't take my wallet. Ow! In the closet you go. No, please, not the closet. It's not that bad, Chef Pee Pee. I've been in there my whole life. Let go of me, guys. Don't put me in the closet. Please, please, please. Ow! Okay, guys. Let's go order some pizza. Yeah! Eskimo kisses. Get off me, Cody. Okay.
Okay, guys, where should we order pizza from? Well, there's so many places to choose from. There's Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut. Well, look at the commercial! Hey there, my name is 30 Seconds Sammy, and not for the reason you think. Have you ever needed a pizza in 30 seconds? Like, you just can't wait? You need a pizza right now? Well, just call 30 Seconds Sammy's, and we'll have a pizza delivered to you within 30 seconds or less. That's a guarantee, or the pizza's free. How do we get the pizza to you so fast? Well, we don't stop for red lights. We don't stop for school buses. I ran over my dog. Everyone's in danger. We have no regard for human life, only pizza. I have pizza coursing through my veins. My wife gave birth to a full pepperoni pizza. So just call 1-800-FAST-PIE. That's 1-800-FAST-PIE. Guys, let's order from there. They can make a pizza in 30 seconds. There's no way they can make a pizza in 30 seconds. My dad said I was made in 30 seconds. Mine too, dude. All right, I'll call him. All right, guys, I ordered the pizza. What kind of pizza did you order? Cheese. Not what your teeth look like. What kind of pizza did you order? Cheese. Not what's in your ears, Cody. What kind of pizza did you order? No, I ordered a cheese pizza. You could have just said that. Oh, that must be them. They came fast. Yeah, my dad did too. That's how I was made. Hello? Hey there. Got your pizza here in less than 30 seconds, so I get to keep my job. <laughs> Woo! I dragged myself up. Here's your pizza. All right, thank you. Uh, you look familiar. Oh, I don't know about all that. I moved down here about a week ago from up north, so I'm sure you don't know me. <laughs> well, how old are you? Oh, I'm 43. I just don't have much to show for it. As you can see, I'm still delivering pizza. <laughs> I didn't go to college. Stay in school, kid. Uh, okay. All right, guys, the pizza's here. Oh, good, I'm starving. The delivery driver was really weird. Oh, no, did he look like the kind of guy that would put his balls on our pizza? Kinda. Even better. No, Cody, you don't understand. He looks just like you. Huh, that's weird. God damn it! They gave us garlic sauce instead of marinara sauce! Ooh. Cody, you don't understand. I think he might be his long-lost son. But I'm not. Wait, he looks just like Cody? He looks just like Cody. I think that's Cody's dad. Wow, really? Look, guys, can we just eat our pizza? But, Cody, he looks just like you! Look, Junior, there are seven billion people in the world. Two people are bound to look the same eventually. Can you please just go look at him? Junior, he already left. The only reason he'd come back is if we ordered another pizza. Yeah, we need some more marinara sauce. Yeah, yeah, order a pepperoni pizza. I'm tired of looking at the cheese pizza. It looks like Cody's teeth. I'm on it, dude. Guys, this is a waste of pizza. Yes, one large pepperoni pizza. And don't forget the marinara sauce this time. God! All right, the pizza's on its way, guys. Cody, are you ready to see your real dad? Junior, I think it's ridiculous that you ordered another pizza just because you think the pizza guy looks like me. He looks just like you, Cody. He's your long-lost father. This is stupid. I'm going to the bathroom. Well, you gotta hurry up. The pizza's gonna be here in like 20 seconds. Oh no, he's here! Cody, hurry! Oh, I'll go see him with you, dude. Yeah, yeah, come see him, come see him. Hello? Guess who's back? You guys really must like your pizza. I can't have it myself because of the diabetes, but I sneak a piece every now and again. <laughs> dude, he looks just like Cody. I was trying to tell you that, Joseph. Well, anyway, here's your pizza. Hold on, I gotta check something real quick. A garlic sauce? Really? Garlic sauce? Where's the goddamn marinara sauce? Yeah, there is no marinara sauce in the order. I ordered marinara sauce, I said it three times. Face. I'm gonna murder your first house. You're yelling so hard, your hat's coming off. My mom, where's my marinara sauce, bro? Marinara sauce! Uh, let go of me, let go of me! I'm gonna kill him! Calm down, Joseph. Marinara sauce! What the hell happened? The delivery guy forgot the marinara sauce and Joseph freaked out on him. Oh, well, does he look like me? Yeah, he looks like you. What, really? Yeah, he could totally be your dad. I told you, Cody. Okay, well, now I have to see this guy if you both agree he looks like me. Well, he ran away because Joseph yelled at him. Well, how about I order another pizza and this time they better not forget the marinara sauce. Guys, don't order another pizza. We already have two. Well, Joseph freaked out and destroyed the pepperoni, so we only have one. Oh. Well, so order a pineapple pizza this time, Joseph. Okay, I'm on it, dude. Yes, one large pineapple pizza, extra marinara sauce. And I swear to God, if you forget the marinara sauce, I'm going to blow up the whole place. I'm crazy and I mean it. Oh, my dad has a whole bunch of fertilizer in his backyard. Ah! All right, they're on the way, guys. I don't think threatening them is going to help. Uh, they're here. I think it did help. Okay, Cody, are you ready to see the guy that looks just like you? Hello? Hey there, somebody order a pizza and call in a bomb threat? That would be me. Yeah, don't do that anymore. Did you get the marinara sauce though? Oh yeah, we got it. We didn't want the place going kaboom. But uh, you did say something about your dad having a bunch of fertilizer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad's dead though, so around the grave. Oh, okay, that's good. Wait, well, where's the other pizza delivery guy? Oh, well, he was assaulted last time he came here, so you've been banned from 30 Second Sammy's. If you call that number, I'm just gonna show up now. But we want to see the other guy! Well, that's not gonna happen, because his life is obviously in danger here, so here, here's your pizza. Oh, come on, guys, let's go. Uh, now how are you gonna see your real dad, Cody? It's not that big a deal. Yes, it is, he looks just like you. He's not my dad. Stupid ass box! Oh, oh, my bad, guys. 
I'm just on edge today. Thank God I got my marinara sauce. <laughs> I would have had to kill somebody. But, but Cody, I, I want you to meet your real dad. He's not my dad. Well, yes, he is. Joseph, is it his dad? I don't know, dude. I can't remember. Is he, see? He doesn't remember. Come on, Cody. We have to see him. Junior, we can't see him. He's banned from delivering pizzas to your house. <gasps> That's it, Cody. We go to your house and order a pizza so you can see him. What? No, I'm not doing that. And then also your mom can see him and we can ask your mom if she banged him. I'm not asking my mom if she banged the pizza guy. But, dude, don't you want to know? Yeah, don't you want to know you're the son of a pizza man? What? No, I don't actually. Oh, I got a test to save your son. Um, spell pizza. What? Spell pizza. Why? Because only pizza men's son can spell pizza. What are you talking about? Everybody knows how to spell pizza. Then spell it. Okay, P-I-Z-Z-A. You're his son! I knew it, dude! I knew it! No, everybody on earth knows how to spell pizza. Not a newborn baby. Okay, you know what? I'm going home. Okay, we're gonna follow you and order the pizza. What? No! Well, come on, we wanna see the pizza guy. You gotta see your own father. Okay, if it means that much to you, you can come with me. Yeah, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, let's go! Okay, guys, we have to be quiet. I didn't ask my parents' permission to have friends over. Boy, what did I tell you about inviting your friends over here without permission? Sorry, Dad. No, no, no. Ain't no sorrys in this household. You know what you gotta do now. Yeah. Yeah, eat this bar so Eat it? Yeah, my dad doesn't understand the right punishment for things. Yeah, and I'm gonna check your mouth in five minutes. I better see bubbles on that tongue. Yes, sir. Well, you don't have to listen to him. He's not even your dad. Junior, you don't want to get me in even more trouble. I'm gonna have to eat two bars of soap. Okay. Let's just go to my room. Are you really gonna eat that bar of soap? No, I'm just gonna put it with the rest. So wasteful. If you wanna eat a bar of soap, be my guest. I mean, I left my marinara at Junior's house. I totally would, though. Um, Cody, are you ready to order the pizza? <sighs> yeah. What kind of pizza do you want? Pepperoni. Okay. Yes, one large pepperoni. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, the pizza's on its way. Cody, are you ready to meet your real dad? He's not my real dad. He's better than the dad that's trying to feed you bars of soap. Yeah, I guess. It's here, it's here! All right, Cody, you have to get ready. You have to look really nice for your dad. Um, let me fix your hair. Uh-huh, you look really good. Come on. Okay. All right, Cody, I think you should answer the door because you haven't met your dad yet. He's not my dad, but okay. Hello? Hey there, somebody order a pizza? Yeah, I did. Wanna see a joke? No, ow! I know you need tower of pizza. Oh, God. <laughs> because the box is leaning on top of my head. Yeah, I get it. It's just awful. <laughs> Woo, everyone in the office likes a dead joke. Genius, this guy's a dork. But he's your dad, though. Boy, what did I tell you about inviting more friends to this house without my permission? But no, he's not a friend. He's just a pizza guy. Oh, uh, nah. You ain't eating pizza in this house. You only eat soap a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hope he doesn't drop that bar of soap. <laughs> Even though I wouldn't trust you around kids, how about you come in here and eat pizza with me? Oh, I really shouldn't. I'm on the job. Accept my offer, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> so, Cody, how's it feel that you met your real dad? He's not my real dad. He's a dork. Like father, like son. What, no, he, he's ugly. Like father, like son. What, no, no, I just mean he's weird. Like father, like son. Look, if you say that one more time, I'm gonna hit you with this bar of soap. Like father, like son. Who was at the door, honey? Oh, baby, just the funniest saltine I've ever met. Hey, don't forget the cheese whiz for those saltines, friend. <laughs> See, baby, he's hilarious. He's bonkers. Gary? Judith? Wait, wait, baby, you met him before? Oh, wait, you must have been to one of his comedy shows. Yep, yep. Well, she's been to one of my shows, friend. Oh, this is awkward. Wait, what's wrong, baby? You look befuzzled. Um, Tyrone, there's something I have to tell you. Fourteen years ago, I ordered a pizza, and this man delivered it, but I couldn't pay for it. Oh, so he gave it to you for free. Respect, respect. Who are you there? Helping a woman out of need. I like that. Uh, no, I paid for it, and I've been paying for it for 14 years. Wait, he put you on a payment plan for 14 years for a $20 pizza? Let me do the math. 20 divided by 14? That's 11 cents a month! Uh, Man, give me my respect back. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. No, no, Tyrone, what I'm trying to say is you're not really Cody's daddy. Yes! What are you talking about, woman? I am Cody's daddy. I look just like that boy. He looks just like me, I mean. Well, come in here, Cody. See, see, he wore the same glasses, uh, he got my nose, and we got the same skin color, woman! Cody, this man Gary is your real daddy. What? I'm a father? Well, I didn't know I had it in me. Wait, Mom, I, this guy can't be my real dad. Yeah, I agree with Cody. He's not his real daddy. I will fight him to the death over Cody. Oh, well, I don't condone violence. Oh, you condone it today? We going outside to fight. Come on! Oh, I'm sure there's a peaceful way we can settle this. By me ripping your head off! Come on! Okay, we're doing this. Hate to have to do this to you, funny man, but I gotta knock you out. I'll have you know I'm a yellow belt and crop my gall. Purple nipple! Ah, my nipples! My number one weakness! Two men fighting over me. Oh, boys, I'm not worth it. Uh, oh, 
Oh, my head hurts. What happened? Oh, you were uh, you were delivering pizzas and you get hit by uh, what's that called? By a car. Yeah. So any memories you have from the last five minutes or so didn't happen. But but I have a son. No, no, you know you don't. You don't have a son. No, that was a delusion. That never happened. Uh, are you sure? Because then no, I'm sure. I'm, I'm totally sure. Nope, nope. None of that happened. So just go get out of my house. This is my house. All right. Well, I mean, you are the doctor. Thanks, Doc. Is that good? Appreciate that, doctor. Good looking now. Yeah, I don't mind lying for money. I hope you don't mind. I gotta make sure this is real. Yeah, we're good. Uh, thanks for rocking his shit, Dad. Anytime, Cody. Anytime. I would knock out anybody for you, even a bully. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, now go in your room and eat that bar of soap before I knock you out like your daddy. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? What was all that noise? Oh, uh, I, I asked the pizza man if he was my dad, and he said no. He said no, but he looks just like you! Yeah, yeah, I know, but we did a DNA test, and it turns out he's not my dad. He's not?! I could have swore he was your dad! Yeah, I thought so too, but no, no, he's not. Oh, that's a bummer. I wonder who your real dad is. Yeah, well, what do you want to do for the rest of the night? I don't know. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Julia! Let me out, please! Jeffy, stop it! <laughs> Marvin, 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 can we please go see Trailer Park Danny? Who's Trailer Park Danny? He's a famous country singer! But you don't listen to country music! Sure I do, but I only listen to Trailer Park Danny! I don't think we should waste our money on Trailer Park tickets. But Marvin, please! He's coming into town with his sister, who's also his wife. His sister's his wife? That's disgusting! No, Marvin! Just watch one music video! You'll fall in love with the sound of his voice! Ah! Jeffy, I'm trying to watch this thing! Stop it! My sexy sister, I sure wanna kiss her, I want to lick those pretty yellow teeth and grab a few beers and get in my truck, we can go mudding and hope we don't get stuck. Cause I'm a cousin wrecking tractor, pulling corn, growing bull riders, son of a gun, son of a gun. Cause I'm a shine sipping, knee slapping, lasso throwing, cow tipping, son of a gun. See, Marvin, isn't he amazing? Even the kitty cat liked him. Where'd that cat come from? He has the voice of an angel, Marvin. That's why I have to see him in concert. Well, how much are the tickets? $500 for the front row. $500? Please, Marvin! No! <laughs> oh, you made Mommy cry, and now you're going to the bad place. Hell. Why'd you whisper hell? Because it's a bad word, and you're not supposed to say shit like that. You just said the S word. No, I didn't. You're a liar, and liars go to hell. Jeffy, shut up. Well, Danny, I could become a country singer, and then I could sing for mommy for free. You don't have a country voice, Jeffy. Yes, I do, Danny. Watch. I voted for Trump. Build the wall. Where'd that voice come from? It's my country voice, Danny, and watch this. Alabama football team, roll tight, Nick Saban, 24 card, Jeff Gordon, 93 octane's the best octane, yeehaw. Wh what? And the saddest day of my life was when Dale Earnhardt crashed the car into the wall, and the car burst into flames, and he died right there. And that was the saddest day of NASCAR ever. And NASCAR NASCAR's never been the same since. But don't get me wrong, Dale Earnhardt Jr. can drive the fuck out of a race car. And don't even get me started on Hamburger Helper. I'll eat that shit up. All right, Jeffy, I guess you do have a good country voice. So if you go make a song, maybe she'll like it. All right, Danny. I just got to call my cousin so I can make out with her while watching Old Yeller. Jerry Moore! Hey, Danny, what you up to? Jeffy, what's this ridiculous outfit? Well, I just got back from the stew cooking up some hot beets. So hot, I could fry an egg on my sister's ass. Yummy! What? Yeah, Danny, I made a music video and a song. Well, well let me see it. All right, here you go. Check it. Jerry Moore! This song goes out to my beautiful sister. We've been married for six years. I love you, baby. I love my sister, yes I do. Yeehaw! I love my sister, cause she's prettier than you. Oh, I like NASCAR and drinking beer. I like mud and shooting deer. Got two teeth, well come on here. My truck's lit, there's nothing to fear. You like big trucks, I'll give you a ride. Alabama football, roll tide. My mama's cooking, tastes so good. Don't talk to me if you live in the hood. 
I love my sister, yes I do. I love my sister, she's my cousin too. Chevy, turn that off! What's wrong, Daddy? That song was very inappropriate. Well, that's what country singers sing about. The only thing I didn't mention was losing my dog or my wife leaving me, but I'll sing about that in the next song. Jeffy, do not release that song. Too late, Daddy. Already did. Now every trailer park princess from Mississippi to Alabama will be wanting to lick my beanies and suck my weenies. Richie, shut up! <laughs> Who's that? Hello? Hey, I'm big time record label manager Steve Stauberger. Is Jeffy here? Yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, you must be his father. Your son's gonna be huge, I tell ya, huge! Wait, really? Oh yeah, let me come inside and we'll talk business. Okay, okay come on in. So here's Jeffy. Hey there, Sonny, you ready to be a star? Piggly Wingly! I'll take that as a yes! Wait, 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 hold on, what's going on? Well, Jeffy released this new single and all the country bumpkins are going crazy over so the record label wants to offer him a five million dollar deal. Here's the cash. What? Well, that's a lot of cash. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. What does Jeffy have to do for that money? Oh, you know, just the usual. Sell his likeliness, his face, his voice. Pretty much sell his soul. Jeffy, would you sell your soul for five million dollars? Yes. And just in case you didn't hear me, Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Why does the record label want Jeffy? Why are they offering him so much money? Well, the record label wants to replace Trailer Park Danny with someone new, someone younger, someone sexier. So the record label wants to replace Trailer Park Danny with Jeffy? I hate Trailer Park D Danny because my, my wife loves him and I want him gone. Yeah, they sure do. All he has to do is say yes. For the third time. Yes. Yes, we'll take the deal. All right, take your money. See you later. <gasps> Jeffy, look at all this cash. Jeffy! <laughs> Who's at the door? Hold on, Jeffy, count the cash. Make sure they didn't leave any behind. <laughs> yeah, I can't, can't. <laughs> Hello? Hi there, does that Jeffy feller live here? Wait, you're Trailer Park Danny. Sure am, and this here's my beautiful sister Charlene. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. You think she's pretty? Uh, yeah, she's very pretty. Well, don't go getting no ideas, mister. Her teeth are mine to lick. Shoot. Wait, uh, no, actually, I don't really think she's that attractive. You think my sister's ugly? You take that back. No, no, she's actually very hot. Okay, okay. Well, hey, listen, mister, we need to talk to that Jeffy fella. Well, he's upstairs, so come on in. All right. Hey, Jeffy, Trailer Park Danny wants to talk to you. Did you want to see my cash? I got a bone to pick with you, Jeffy. Well, I got your bone right here. Tell me why the record label calls me on my telephone saying they gave all my money to you. Because I'm the shit? More like piece of shit. Now, I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to lose my damn trailer, my pig, my boat, and now my sister's talking about leaving me. i never leave you, brother. You better not, because I'll tell Mom. Don't you tell Mama. Oh, I sure would, she'd throw your ass down in the well. Well, damn. Wait, is she really, like, your real sister? Hell yeah, we're fraternal twins. We shared a womb, now we share a room. Yeah, yeah. We got married at the family reunion. Hell yeah, and I'll tell you what, she was the prettiest girl there, for I knew it. I was proposing to her at the county fair. Man, was she looking pretty sitting there bobbing for apples. She had one on each tooth. I had more teeth back then. Then before I knew it, I was on one knee proposing. And I'll tell you what, she said yes faster than a red water pig scarfing out a chili dog hell yeah row tie. Okay, I think we're getting off topic. What are you wanting from Jeffy? I want half his damn money. No! Well, yeah, he earned this money. No, he didn't. He wrote one country song. I wrote 53 about sister licking. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, listen. The, the record label said that you're old news. Old news? I'll show you old news. You'll rue the day you met in Trailer Park Dan, Jeffy. Come on, sister. Let's get out of here. Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. All right. Well, just remember to wipe back to front. Always do. I'll meet you in the truck. Uh... Daddy, she's so sexy. No, she's not. The, the bathroom's down there. He's hot! No, no, no. Listen, the bathroom's that way. You should go use the bathroom. Daddy, do you think she'll date me? Wait, no. You should ask her. <sighs> would you date my son? Sure would! Oh, F yeah. All right, baby, go wait in my room. Daddy, I'm gonna knock those teeth out. Oh, count the cash. No, no, don't count the... I thought you already counted the cash. Daddy, I don't know how to count. You count the cash, I'm gonna go get some ass. What did Jeffy stop it? Oh, my God. Well, that is a lot of money. What in the hell's taking Charlene so long to use a damn turlet? I'm gonna go check on her. Charlene! I checked the bathroom. I didn't see you in there. You get lost? Charlene! Charlene, you in here? Sister! Oh, brother! Jeffy! You cheating on me with this inbred? He ain't even family. Well, he looks like one of us. Well, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go get family.
names again. I'm gonna leave your ass on the curb. Ah, oh, shoot. You're old news. I hope you're enjoying me and Daddy's sloppy thirds. You won't ever leave me, will ya? Uh, no promises, but if I find somebody else with one more tooth than you, then maybe. Deal! Alright, now you hop back on these beanies and weenies. 4,990,000? 5 million. All 5 million dollars is there. Oh my god, we can buy whatever we want. Our lives are gonna change forever. What? The news? Breaking news, okay? Trailer Park Danny, who's being called Old News, is now New News because he just released a hit new song featuring the new upcoming black country singer, BLT. We will now play the music video for you. I'm really sad, my sister cheated on me, I don't know why she would do this to me, I want her to come back. And only love me But looks like she Doesn't love me Oh hell nah! Don't be sad Trailer Park Danny There's more sisters in the family tree ha. That's right, you don't need that hoe It's time to let her go Go and date your cousin man She's a 10 for show You got plenty other sisters Put them in a row My truck is stuck in the mud Could you give me a tow? That's right, I don't need that hoe Throw her in the road I got a sister with a big tongue She looks like a toad Forget them yellow teeth Want them white like a commode I have so many cousins, I have a whole truckload. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Danny. You gotta keep it in the family. Ha! Just cause she your sister don't mean she don't miss you. Ha ha! Give her that pipe you know she like. Skirt! Roll tide. Well, good thing we still have all this money. Hey there, enjoying all that money? Yeah, I sure am. Well, you never really signed anything, so see ya. Wait, wait, hey! You can't just take our money! What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Me and BFT are on top of the world. Damn right, Danny. You better tell them. They just came in here and took all my money. You mean my money. I bet you wish you took that deal now, you would have still had half. Now I'm going to get my sister back. Jeffy, I love you. Oh, brother. What's up, homie? Other brother. Hey, sis. What you doing here? Oh, you ain't heard the news. I'm a superstar. Love me, brother. Uh, 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 you got to go through BLT first. Yeah, you know what BLT? T stands for black lettuce and tomato, and I got a BBC for you. <laughs> I don't know what a BBC sandwich is, but I know what a BLT is. Come on, sis. Gosh darn it. Yeah, come taste this BBC with no condiments. Um, that ain't where my money go. The guy took it. Can't you just make another country song and we get famous again? Well, I don't know, Danny, because I don't have a country voice. You've been doing it all day. No, I haven't. Try it, Jeffy. All right, I'll try. <clears throat> babu, bap, bap, babu. <laughs> Someone pass the ball to Jimmy. Pass it. There we go. There you go, Jimmy. Yes! Two points for the Heat! Boiny, go to sleep. I'll go to sleep as soon as this Miami Heat game's over. But Boiny, aren't you on call for the fire station tonight? What if there's a fire? You're gonna need some sleep. Honey, fires don't happen at night. The only fire happening tonight is the Miami Heat and Jimmy Butler because he is on fire. Boiny, I still think you need some rest. Jimmy Butler doesn't need rest. 40 minutes of playing time is insane. Jimmy Butler's not a firefighter, Boiny. Yeah, well, he might as well be because he's always dealing with the heat. Boiny, just go to sleep. Yeah, I'll go to sleep if they win. When they win. They're gonna win. What if they lose? Well, then I will stay up until their next game. Just go to sleep. Uh, yeah, come on, Jimmy. <laughs> the Heat won. Go Heat. Shh, Boiny. <laughs> Houston Rockets. More like Houston Suckets because I suck at basketball. <laughs> they should change their name to that. Go to bed, Boiny. I am Karen. Oh, man, Jimmy Butler's so cool. He put up 30 points by himself. I bet Jimmy Butler could put up 30 points from his bed. <gasps> I bet I could put up 30 points from bed. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. I'm Jimmy Butler. Boiny, what the hell are you doing? Shut up, Karen. This is going to be cool. <laughs> I'm Jimmy Butler. <clears throat> okay, that was me shooting, but this is going to be Jimmy. Boiny, please. It's so late to be playing paper basketball. I just want to make one shot, Karen. Well, well how long is that going to take? It ends right here. <clears throat> Okay, this is starting to piss me off. Boiny, please go to bed. It's okay, Karen. It's game seven of the NBA Finals. They're up by one. There's three seconds left. It's up to me to make the game-winning shot. Three, two, one. I missed. We lost. Wait, what's that? Three more seconds were magically added. I get another shot. Boiny. It's okay, Karen. Three, two, one. 
Well, shit. Boy, need go to bed! Okay, okay. I'm going to bed. I'm done. But what's that? I was fouled, and I get a free throw. What? What the hell? I was fouled, Karen. I get a free throw. Ugh. All right, Boynie, you lost. The game's over. You were fouled. No time added to the clock magically. Now hand me the notebook paper. But, but, but I need this notebook for work. Give it to me, Boynie. No, no, I promise I won't touch it. Good night. You promise? I promise. Good night. Good night. You. Go to bed, Boyne! You never let me have any fun! Boyne, what are you doing now? I'm eating chips and queso. What? Ugh, Karen, you know I have chips and queso in bed after every heat win. Boyne, please, just go to sleep! Okay, fine, right after this chip. Oh, man, the fire chief's calling. Hello? Guy! There's a fire at an apartment complex and you're the only firefighter within a hundred miles! Get your ass down here! Uh, okay, right away, sir. What's wrong, Boyne? Uh, there's a fire. Well, Boyne, you gotta get ready! You gotta get up! You gotta go! Mm, but I'm tired. Well, you shouldn't have stayed up all night watching basketball and playing paper basketball and eating chips and queso in bed! Uh, I know, I know. Alright, let me just get my fire outfit. Ugh, where is that firefighter outfit? Not cop, uh, not doctor, uh, not clown, not airline pilot, not karate instructor. Damn it, Karen, have you seen my firefighter outfit? No, Boynie, I haven't seen it anywhere. Did you check the drawer? Yeah, no shit, I checked the drawer. Uh, let me just lay here and think about the last time I had it. Maybe I'll think better with my eyes closed. I gotta pee. All right, hold on. What? Oh, oh no. Oh no. I have 39 missed calls from the fire chief? Oh no, the fire! That, that, that was hours ago, right? I mean, somebody had to have put it out by now. I better go to the fire station. Hey, hey there, chief. I'm here. I got your calls. Oh, did you? Well, where you been, guy? You're several hours late. I, I had a, a flat tire and the heat one. Oh, yeah? Well, the heat one against that apartment building, too, because the whole building burned down and all 50 people inside died. What? 50 people died? Why didn't anybody put out the fire? Well, you were the only firefighter we had on duty, guy. We were waiting on you. Well, why didn't you put out the fire? I, I'm the chief. I, I'm the police chief and the firefighter chief. I, I don't do that. I'm the chief. What? So... So 50 people died because of me? Yes, guy! We were waiting on you, and you never came! This is all your fault! <laughs> 50 people died because of me! Whitey, <laughs> what's wrong? Did you put out the fire? No, I let 50 people die. What? I fell asleep after the chief called me, so nobody was there to put out the fire. So the building burned down and everyone died. Boyne, how could you? I was just so tired. Well, you shouldn't have stayed up all night, Boyne. Think of all the people that suffered. I didn't think watching the heat would make so many people die from heat. I just can't believe all those people burning the women and the children and the poor animals. Oh, God, the animals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go to one of my other jobs and try to distract myself. <laughs> uh, maybe flying a plane will help me clear my mind. Let me just tell everybody the weather. Uh, thanks for flying Spirit Airlines today. Uh, weather's looking pretty smooth. It's a nice 87 degrees outside. Uh, should be nice and smooth sailing from here to Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm crying. It's just that I killed 50 people earlier today. I just really hope I don't kill anyone else. <laughs> Why are they screaming? There's no turbulence. Damn it, Gar, you scared the hell out of those passengers! I'm sorry, Flight Chief. I just wanted to tell them about the 50 people I killed. Well, maybe you shouldn't fly a plane for a little while. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I'll go do my doctor job. Then I can actually save lives.
Well, time to save some lives. Okay, nurse, what patients do we have today? No patients today, doctor. Just a bunch of corpses from the fire that happened earlier this morning. Oh, God, no! Poor little Timmy over here, for example. Oh, Timmy, I'm sorry, Timmy. This is all my fault. Are you okay, doctor? No, I'm just gonna go do house calls. Oh, man, I'm so sick. <laughs> Jeffy, can you please bring me a cough drop? Oh, yeah, daddy. I got your cough drop right Right here, go ahead and grab it. Jeffy, don't talk like that, give it to me. Oh yeah! Baby, can you take the wrapper off? Okay. Oh, you don't like protection, Daddy? You like it raw? Jeffy, shut up. Here, Marvin. Oh yeah, put that thing in your mouth, Daddy. Does it feel huge in your mouth? Jeffy, shut up, just get out of here. All right. Baby, did you call a doctor? Yeah, he's on his way, Marvin. Hey there, somebody call a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> But what's wrong with you? Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. What's wrong with you? Well, I have a really bad cough. Uh, well, at least you didn't burn to death. <laughs> what? Marvin, look, the news! Uh. Breaking news, okay? An apartment complex burned down, killing 50 people inside because the fire department didn't show up. How sad. Oh my god, those poor people! Why didn't the fire department show up? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he was too busy sleeping because he stayed up all night watching the heat and then he was eating chips and queso and playing paper basketball. Maybe that's why. Well, that's really irresponsible. I know. I'm so sorry. Wait, you did all those things? Yeah. You killed those people? Don't rub it in. I already feel bad enough. Well, baby, it might not be completely his fault. What, what, what happened to the other firefighters? Well, I don't know. Maybe there's like a recession and we're under Stabbed. I don't know. And like there was 50 people in the building. Why didn't some of them run out? Well, who knows? Maybe they were trapped. And I could have saved them. Well, don't beat yourself up about it, buddy. You know, you win some, you lose 50 people sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's not completely your fault. You could have only saved, like, what, possibly 25 if you tried? Yeah, you're probably right. I feel a lot better now. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a birthday party I have to go be a clown at. Wait, 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 my cough, my... <coughs> oh, dang it. Happy birthday, Tyler. All your friends are here. Do you want to open your gifts? Of course I do. That's the only good thing about my birthday. Okay, your first gift is a Lego Speed Champions. That's not what I wanted, you bitch. Tyler. Well, if you don't want it, I'll take it. Don't work at Taco Bell or something, Felipe. Tyler, don't talk to your friends. This party sucks ass. Oh, look, Tyler, your clown is here. Hey, everybody. It's me, Bobo the Clown. Make me a balloon, animal, funny man. Oh, I left my balloons at home. But hey, check this out. My nose squeaks. You're a bum. Tyler, behave yourself. No, no, he's right. I'm a bum. I killed 50 people this morning. <laughs> No, not on purpose. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I'm taking his Legos. Damn it, where is Guy? He's late. Sorry, sir, I had to come from my clown job. Well, you have bigger problems than that. You remember those 50 people that died in that fire? Yeah, don't remind me. I know it's my fault. Well, actually, it's not. It turns out all 50 of those people were shot in the head before the murderer burned the building down. Wait, so you're telling me they died from getting shot? They didn't die in the fire? So it doesn't matter that I watched the Heat game and ate chips and queso and played paper basketball. Oh, thank God. I'm so happy now. But we still have to catch that murderer. We set up a sting operation at a gas station, and he should be there at 6 o'clock. So you need to get your ass down there and catch him. But, sir, the heat game starts at 6 o'clock. Guy, get down there and stop that murderer. Don't screw this up. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, go heat. Orlando Magic, more like the Orlando Suckets, because I suck at basketball. <laughs> That's what they should change their name to. Boyney, didn't you say you had something to do tonight? Yeah, watch the heat. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God, I am so fired.
La vida es un río siempre fluyendo Con cada cambio seguimos creciendo A veces es calma, a veces tormenta en cada, en cada giro de la vida nos enfrenta Cambiando con la vida Como las hojas al viento Encontrando nuestro camino En cada momento, momento A través de las sesiones a través del tiempo, cambiando con la vida, en su eterno movimiento. Eh, oh, oh, oh. Cada amanecer trae una nueva oportunidad, de dejar atrás el miedo, de buscar la verdad, con cada paso da. Gracias. 